Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ramil Sassi, and today I am reviewing Fall of Porcupine on the Series X, developed by Critical Rabbit and published by Assembly Entertainment. So what is Fall of Porcupine? Fall of Porcupine is a narrative-centric 2D side-scroller with some light platforming elements. The premise is you take control of Finley and see the work and daily life of an unhealthy healthcare system. Experience the exciting story of Finley and his friends in a lovingly illustrated world and uncover the darkest secrets of Porcupine and its residents. The game boasts unique stories, a varied landscape to explore and an overarching mystery connecting all. Fun minigames and the impacts of social structural issues surrounding the healthcare profession. First up is accessibility. With regards to accessibility, there is a nice selection of options to tweak and adapt the way you play this game. From subtitle options, colour modes, dyslexia mode, guidance options and the ability to turn off the mini games from the start. There is no controller remapping, but generally is not required except for the mini games. Next is gameplay. Regardless of what country you are in, understanding the impact of healthcare on staff and the wider community isn't something many people would think a game would delve into. Thankfully, Critical Rabbit have done just that with their latest game, wrapped up in a cute fluffy package. It tackles topics few are willing to speak about and has done a large amount of research in a bid to give an authentic experience. The game itself is a cosy, story-driven game about small-town life and the healthcare system that impacts the lives around it. You control Finley, a young pigeon and the newest doctor at St Ursula's Hospital and newest resident in the town of Porcupine. Following an accident while searching for a patient with dementia, you have an accident which leads you taking time off to recover. The game starts as you, a recovered patient yourself, make your way back to your duties. You are soon in the thick of it as you are relearning your duties as you tend to patients, whilst your boss, a white cheetah called Dr. Krauskitz, evaluates your work. You are not alone in this journey, however, as there is a fellow newbie doctor to converse with, alongside even more characters in and outside the hospital, and all who take form of various animals. The general structure of Fall of Porcupine progress is over the course of several days and nights, where Finley splits his time between shifts at the hospital and three times exploring the town and surrounding area with his friends. Each time you check in for a shift, you'll be given three patients in the ward that you need to tend to, which consists of a fairly wide variety of mini-games. These can range from injecting shots, prescribing medicine, bandages and monitoring respiratory functions. Each are unique and fun to do and often involve some form of puzzle solving or rhythm based game, following some conversing with said patients. After all tasks are done, you are then given a grade on the three tasks each day, which translate into a final average performance judged by the lead doctor. There seems to be no consequences of your actions here and is more a personal form of achievement than a story based one. These tasks are enjoyable and give the game a much needed break from the other main aspect of the game which is exploration and understanding of the town and its inhabitants. Once your shift is done, you and your friends then explore the town of Porcupine and the surrounding woods. These adventures include their own mini-games as well, like turn-based combat or helping a co-worker cook dinner, and are often more fun than those found in the hospital. As you explore the area, you can enjoy some light platforming, which helps a bit of variety from the typical walking aspect of the game promotes. As you go about your days, you can make choices throughout the game, with dialogue options and other small actions, like taking the bus or walking that will impact what you see and visit throughout the game. You'll never be able to do it all, so at a minimum you'll need to play the game twice to ensure you see and experience everything Porcupine has to offer. The inhabitants' own stories and optional tasks provide a more personal experience as you get to understand the motivation for each resident. 
fears, traumas and passions all bubble to the surface as you get to understand each unique person with every interaction, which then gets emotionally invested if they end up as your patient later on. It's these very interactions that you will soon cherish and make up the bulk of the gameplay and make you appreciate what a healthcare system does for its community, something that isn't easy to convey by any means. Whilst all this is playing out, an ever-present mystery at your work continues to evolve and get more darker as you progress, leading to a surprising conclusion which I will not mention. The game's gameplay in general is slow, methodical and built around your ability to connect to the individuals around you. As the last chapter draws to a close, you will get invested in some of the character's motivations, be it sympathy or distest. Each aspect will ensure the moments the credits come, you won't forget those you've met. With regards to bugs, there was the odd misspelling, word bubbles the wrong size, or characters flying off the screens as they attempt to follow you. None of these hindered my enjoyable experience with this game, and was more often not barely noticeable. Next up is graphics. The game's visuals are gorgeous and have a paintbrush style that fits the game perfectly. These artists here really do know their way around a colour wheel and have used it to give life and atmosphere to all areas of Porcupine and St Ursula's. The soft palette of colours sing from the screen and as you make your way through the game and its many seasons. The colourful weekends are visually happy, the hostel's white walls are shown to be clean and clinical, and the dark woods moody and gloomy. Each stylized character looks impressive, and there was a ton of attention given to crafting Porcupine's small town charms for the player to explore and enjoy. The general smoothness of the game is equally well done, with only the odd glitch of the character appearing behind a background element something a patch could easily fix. And finally, sound. Where the graphics delight the eyes, the music caresses the ears. Mellow melodies are strummed on an acoustic guitar as you unravel the story in the modest town, occasionally accompanied by the chirps and hoots of unseen birds. When dramatic events happen within or outside the hospital, the tones do a superb job of engaging your heartstrings and complement the gameplay perfectly. There is no voice work here, with the story being told using text in bubbles on screen. This ensures the tone and music take centre stage and wonderfully enhances crucial moments between the doctor and the patient. My recommendation here is a good quality headset to enjoy the poetic nature of this game to its fullest. And this leads me on to the rating of the game. Now I rate games in order of avoid, on sale, great purchase and must own. My rating for Fall of Porcupine is a great purchase. The game does have its bugs, which could easily be patched out, but what is there is enjoyable and thought-provoking. A tough subject for most, the developers have gone in with the understanding of what happens to a healthcare stretched or underfunded, and how this affects the communities at large. A sympathetic story with heaps of heartfelt content will leave you thinking about this game well after the credits have ended. The game is currently priced on Xbox at £14.99, or approximately $20, and depending on your skill and patience would give you about 10 plus hours worth of gameplay. Due to the choices that can be made, you will need a second playthrough, and this will add another 5 plus hours. There currently is a free prologue for the game called Fall of Porcupine Last Days of Summer for those that want to dip their feet into this game without paying anything. For those that have family, friends or colleagues in any form of healthcare role and wish to get a valuable insight to their stress, joys and complexities they face, this will be one that hits perfectly.
The developers have created something lovely that will leave you with a better of understanding of what working such an industry entails and how precious it is to society overall. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. I do hope you like this review, and if you do, please like, share, and subscribe if you so wish. And if you would like to put some notes or even just a comment in the comment section, I do like reading them. Anyway, have a great time gaming, and I'll see you all again soon.